Falls off. Okay, today I'm working on old Cummins again, getting ready for safety. Uh, I got some parts on the way. I ordered the rockers for it, some parts to fix the box. I need some patch panels down here, and then these crossers under the box. Um, I also need uh, track bar bushings. I'm going to order a whole new track bar. And I really don't have the money for that right now, so I'm going to do the body work while I get the money to do that, and then I'll do that then. But um, today, I already got the taillights off. I'm going to pull the tailgate off next. And I got all the bolts off for the box. It's really just sitting there. Um, I need to take off the um, gas filler neck, and then, yeah, the tailgate, and it's ready to come off. Oh, I still got the mud flaps, actually, the wheel wells, and then I'm going to put a 2x4 of the jack on each side, lift it up, and then drive the truck out. I'll show you the bolts I'd take off underneath right now. Okay, so in the very back here, you probably won't be able to see the actual where the bolt came out itself, but straight up in here, there's one. And then there's another one right here. And then there's only then there's one more on the front. So there's a total of six bolts. The front one is a little easier to see. You can get at it through this hole here. But it is um you can actually see where it is up there. Up right up there. Yeah, you can get at it with an extension through this hole straight up to there. And then, um, yeah, that's really it. Just right, to, I'm going to take the wheel wheel off and uh, the wheel wheel liner off and then the uh, mud flap off there. It's a bit of an old truck, so it's got probably an assortment of nuts and bolts and screws and stuff from thinking in. So I got all my ratchet set and start screws out here. I'm taking a look, it does have a start screw right here. And yeah, I'm just going to lift it by hand enough that I can stick a block under there. And then I'll do the same on the other side, and then I'll stick a long 2x4 all the way across, and then I'll have to get some kind of blocks or whatever with my jack on each side and lift the truck up, the box up. So I'm correct the fact that it should be a bunch of eight mil bolts. This was uh, well eight star. It looks like a ten back in there. Stick a block out of there. Then I'll go and do the same on the other side. Okay, I got the other liner and the mud flap off, and then up on a block, and I'm gonna take off the tailgate now. Probably would have been easier to take the tailgate off, so it wasn't so high, but it, it's not too bad either. <laughs> Teeter totter. So, yeah, the wheel well liners just held on with a couple of screws or bolts on each side here. Yeah, these are just screws. And then um, a couple across the back here. Yeah, three in the back, right at the bottom here, yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah, there's my board I got holding it up. And then the tailgate, it's just got the, the two straps it hangs from. 
And then it lifts off of that on that side and slides off of this one here. Now we're going to take off the gas neck, your fuel neck. That's definitely want gas, but um, got three torques, it looks like. Could also take off the hose from the back, but that's probably on there really good, and this will come off pretty easy. Okay, that's off now. Okay, so next up is this wiring harness connectors here. It might be a little dirty. It, um, it's just got two little push connectors. I guess it's on the other side. I right, heard you. So you push like this, and there's a little pin you had to pop out, a red pin, then you push down and give it a good pull. It might be stuck on there good, like mine was. I used a little flat screwdriver to go around, pop it off a bit. And um, th that was uh, on the back of this crosser here behind the bumper. And then I just ran it along, up, tucked it up top here on the, in the box. That way it won't catch anything when the box comes off. Okay, so I got the board in there. I was kind of trying to find a spot where it's going to balance the box and not be leaning forward like it is right now. And um, trying to find something that I could stick under here to jack it up. And um, I, don't know, I was kind of looking at the three-wheelers over here. I really like my three-wheelers. So I'm thinking this might be a good idea. Looking at it, it's about perfect height. Stick a piece of firewood or something. I think it'll work great. Love these two. Alright, so I got it lifted up. It's definitely a little sketchy, but uh, I think it'll work. It's a little tough to get the balance than I kind of thought, but uh, I got a jack here holding it for now. I'm going to go forward a bit, and it should be sticking out enough that I can put a jack in the back here to balance it. I got it kind of weighted in the back so it doesn't lean forward and hit the front window. The back window, actually. But. I'd say you probably won't be able to hear me once I start this thing up, but uh, we'll be trying to drive it forward a little bit. Who knows, it might end up being a failed video. <laughs> might work out great. So it's hitting the tire, so I'm just kind of trying to lift it back over the tire, and then I'll start pulling forward again.
Okay, so I got it sitting on the rails now. It's so yeah, it's sitting on the rails there. And as you can see, that 2x4 is not very happy with life. But that did make it clear everything as I can tell. It's just to stay clear in that tire. So maybe I'll stick another board under that and then I'll try pulling forward again. All right, we're going to try pulling forward a bit more. Looks like the front of the wheel wells caught the back bumper. Well, I can really tell. But it didn't really do any damage other than I broke my chair. Thank mm -hmm. you. 